I've recently sent a poll on the community tab of this channel asking where people store their IAC, infrastructure as code. And with my surprise, more than half of the respondent to the poll said that they always store their infra as code uh, together with their application code. In this video, I'm gonna discuss the result and tell you how and where I store my infrastructure as code and why I think you should do the same. Hey, welcome back to Coder Dave, where we try and do DevOps just better. Oh, and this is supposed to be our three minutes video, so short videos, big value, hopefully. And hopefully I can keep it short. <laughs> As I've mentioned in the intro today, we talk about IAC and how to store it. If you're not very familiar with IAC and you wanna know more about what it is and why you should use it, I'd recommend you to check out this video I made. You can find a link up here and in the video description in which I tell you everything about it. All right, let's dive into it. As I mentioned before, the result of the polls were quite surprising to me because half of the people replied that uh, they stored their IAC and their opcode always together. Well, how I do it? Well, it depends. I can say that I do it both ways. Um, I would have picked the option in the middle if I were replying to my own poll. And the reason for this is very easy to explain. I can say that it depends on what the IAC script or module I'm writing is for. I tend, in fact, to split my IAC code in uh, two parts, the foundational infrastructure and the application-related infrastructure. Foundational infrastructure is everything that is not specifically related to a service or application. And that could be, for example, shared between different services or provide some uh, foundations, in fact, for, for different services and other stuff. Some examples of those could be virtual networks where multiple VMs reside or storage accounts used to save logs or perhaps even uh, Kubernetes clusters. Since those are independent from the software part, I store them in a centralized repository. As you can see here, I have different folders for different environments and in each I have the resources. As I've mentioned, you can see that I define here the AKS cluster, for example, the networking, etc. And as you've probably noticed, I use Terraform for all my infrastructure as code, or at least I try to. And I like to separate those resources in different modules. I store the modules code in separate repositories in GitHub and publish them to the AshiCorp cloud on my private registry together with the Terraform state. This video is not about Terraform, so I'm not gonna talk about that anymore. But let me know in the comment section below if you wanna know more about how I structure my Terraform files and modules, and I'll try to make a video about that. Also, I would really appreciate if you can hit the like button below right now, thank you. All right, so that was about the foundational piece of my infrastructure as code. But what about the other one? What about the one related to the application? Well, as you have probably already imagined, I stored that part together with my application code. As you can see here, I have my application code, but I also have this ARM template folder in the root of the repo, in which I have the IAC scripts for this particular piece of software. In this case, the IAC was uh, ARM directly for Azure, but of course I do the same thing with Terraform, which as I said, is my provider of choice when it comes to IAC. And I store this way all the infrastructure that, as I mentioned before, pertains to a specific service or piece of application. That could be an app service where my web application runs, a virtual machine that is specifically dedicated to, for example, a management piece of software and so on and so forth. Uh, the list could be endless, but I think you got the point. Not only I store my IAC this way, so with the two different ways for storing the foundational infrastructure and the application specific infrastructure, but I normally uh, advise the clients and the people I work with to, to do the same. And this is because I think this gives you a lot of flexibility. For example, you can have a centralized infrastructure management team that takes care of all your foundational pieces and make sure that all the best practices and guidelines are respected. But then you can delegate the management and the creation of the infrastructure for specific pieces of application to the development group, for example, because they know better than anyone else what their application needs and how it should scale and configurations and so on and so forth. Let me know in the comment section below how you store your IAC and if you agree or not with the way I do it with the two different approaches, if you will. 
Also check out this video over here in which I explain all the reasons why you should be using infrastructure as code. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coder Dave.